Fingers, bing, 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 finger skate selective. Bing, bing, fingers, finger skate selective. Bing, 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 finger skate selective. Bing, 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 finger skate selective. What up? It's Friday, October 29th, 2010. I am Frankie Finger Dex. You're watching an all new episode of Ask Frankie on Friday. That's right. Now, first off, before we get into all the questions, and I have a lot of them, I want to apologize for getting this video posted late. Uh, I started really late, and it's almost Saturday now, so we really got to get right into it so I can get this posted up so maybe you guys can catch it Saturday morning. That's right. I did want to say thank you to everyone that watches and everyone watching right now, and to everyone that watches the FSS News on Tuesday nights. I really appreciate that, you guys. You guys are really awesome. <coughs> if you would like a shout out in the FSS News, just comment below or send me a message or hit me up. Up however you want just let me know you want a shout out I'll be glad to do that for you if you watch I appreciate that and I will shout you out also make sure you guys are checking out the FSS team I can't stress that enough Cos Lemons, Steezy FSS, 9 Karma 9, FSS Nuggets and Elijah Seeger 13 Check those people out, sub to them, holler at them, see what they have to say. Thank you to everyone who sent Frankie mail this week. I will have a whole episode dedicated to just Frankie mail. You guys saw how much I had last time. This is what I got this week. It's a lot, so I'll have a whole episode just dedicated to that coming very, very soon. I know when I say soon, sometimes it takes a long time, and I apologize for that. I have big ideas and a lot of stuff lined up that I am going to do. Just, I'm so short on time that I don't get as many videos done as I would like to. So when I say soon, bear with me, everyone. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to FSS. I can't say thank you enough. It's really cool, and I like to do it. So here we go. We're going to get right into the questions so I can get this edited and posted. One more thing about the Frankie mail. If you send Frankie mail, please, please, please make sure you put your YouTube name on there so I know who you are. Also, make sure you put an uh, address. One I got didn't have any return address or anything. It just has my address on there and that's it. Yeah, make sure you put an address where I can send stickers to and put your YouTube name. All right, so here we go with the questions. We'll get right into it. First one is from Ethan Tantuco. Where do you find miniature bricks? First, I don't have any idea where you would find it, but I don't think they're actually little bricks. I think it's like paper or plastic, like tile almost, with a little design on it. And then you like make an obstacle and wrap it around, then it looks like a brick pattern. Uh, I would check hobby stores like Hobby Lobby, Hobby Town, uh, places like that, or even on eBay. But I don't think they're little bricks. I think it's a uh, cover that looks like bricks. Next question is from Shadow55723. What do you do for a job? I work in a tool and die shop as a machinist. I work on milling machines, lathes, EDM machines, and CNC's. Should I make a video at work? What do you guys think? Comment below if you think I should. Next question is from 2010 ER1. Can you choose your own color of Pro Wood Pro Wheels or is it random? Yes. When you order Pro Wheels from ProWoodFingerboards.com, you can choose which color you want when you're checking out. As long as they're in stock, yes. But yeah, you can choose your own color. It's not random. Next is from Bronto1 81. Can you send us pictures of your YouTube backgrounds? I have an easier way. If you guys want to grab my pictures, you can hit me up on Facebook. My name is Frankie Fingerdex. If you add me, you can look at my pictures and then copy and paste them. So, yes, and I put a bunch up there. There's like 20, I think, or maybe 13, or something like that. But yeah, hit me up on Facebook, Frankie Fingerdex. You can steal all my pictures and use them on YouTube. Eee! Next question is from Finger Skate 3. If I want to upgrade from a tech deck and get something with higher kicks and deeper concave, what should I get? Well, you got the V3 from Affliction. It's got medium kicks with a very deep concave. That's a good one you could get. Or the Affliction K deck, which has high kicks and a low medium concave. More more on the low side. Uh, the reason I say these, and you guys probably get mad because I advertise it so much, but this is actually what I use every day. Every, every time I fingerboard, this is what I use. It's not a joke. I don't put it away and take something else out and fingerboard it. This is what I use, so this is what I say. I love high kicks. This is what it is. That's why I, if someone asks me what they should get, this is what I I say because it's what I use. But there's a lot of good decks out there. Maybe you guys can help out. He wants to upgrade from a tech deck and get something with higher kicks and a deep concave. So comment below and uh, yeah, help me help Finger Skate 3 find a good deck. Next question is from Kekozi. Have you ever ridden Black River trucks? Yes, I did have a set of Black River trucks. I actually sold them to Wankster Wan. Uh, shout out to the Finger Skate shop and Wankster Wan. But yeah, um, they were nice. I mean, you know, personally, I like the Y trucks a little bit better, I think. But yeah, 
down. They're all good trucks. I've never had a set of trucks that I was like, yikes, these really are bad. But for the cost of pro trucks, I would rather just get regular wides, tune them out, and then have the extra money for wheels or something. But that's me personally. And I do have a, a set of wide trucks here, just so you guys know. Those aren't wide trucks, though. So. So I know what they're like. I've had the I had the black rivers. I have the white trucks. They're nice, but you can also make regular trucks nice too. Not saying you shouldn't get them, but for the money, personally me, I probably won't get any more custom trucks. But they are nice. <laughs> Next question is from Devil's Eye 96 Are you going to rendezvous? A lot of people have asked me that. Uh, I would love to hit it up and go meet people and see what's up and fingerboard with everyone. But at my job, I have to give a lot of notice to have the time off. And yeah, I just haven't been able to make it. Um, I am going to try and go to the one in the springtime. So yeah, hopefully I can get that worked out. Hopefully I can figure out when and where it is early enough to put that time in for vacation. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I want to go, but we'll see what happens. I can't promise see anything right now I'll tell you that next question is from Linlax Frankie I see that you usually use affliction and creek wood why not flat face or black river I don't really know what you mean by that I mean I use affliction decks all the time because I like high kicks and that's what I use but flat face I have 11 sets of flat face wheels I always buy stuff at flat face I have a black river pole jam on my fingerboard park I have black river ramps I have a flat face tuning I have a lot of stuff from flat face and black river I use them a lot um, the reason you see affliction so much is because this is the deck I use. Flat face doesn't have a high kick deck, so it is what, what it is. is. Next question is from Cincy Skater. I'm going to start making FSS tape now, but does it have to be American cheese? Yes. American cheese is the only kind of cheese that works if you're making FSS tape. <laughs> Next question is from Speed Plaque 498 What deck do you think is better to get? A Scott B deck or a Yellow Wood? Um, I haven't tried a Scott B deck, but I do have a Yellow Wood, like you saw earlier. It's a P6, and it's a very nice, wonderfully made deck, which is very nice and straight. Uh, the only reason I don't use this is because the kicks are lower. I prefer high kicks, and I wish Yellow Wood and Berlin Wood and all these companies would make more shapes available instead of just one, but yeah, the Yellow Wood, as far as craftsmanship and stuff like that, is excellent, so Scott B I haven't tried so I can't say 100% which one to get but yellow woods are nice I can verify that next question is from director Alex C why are people from Germany awesome fingerboarders that I don't really know I think it's just a lot bigger over there and a lot more people do it therefore there's a lot more that are better at fingerboarding so but US is catching up so go USA next question is from Mac Ozies. what do you think about Berlin wood uh, very nice decks I had a Berlin wood 09 mold the Elias one but I ended up trading it but it was a very nice deck too. But again, I wish they would make them with different shapes and stuff. Like a high kick version maybe. Or one with a little higher kicks at least. But as far as the craftsmanship and stuff like that, very nice deck. Berlin Woods are good. You guys already know that. But yeah, make more shapes, Berlin Wood. Next question is from George Dude 18 What's your favorite trick on a fingerboard? Tray to crook. No, just tray. Probably a tray flip. <laughs> Next question is from Skater Habitat. How do you grip your foam tape so perfectly? Um, it's not really that perfect. A lot of practice. Practice makes perfect. And a little file. <laughs> oh, yay. All right, next question is from Haz106. Do you spend all your money on decks? No, definitely not. I spend all of my money on bills, bills, and bills. I wish I could, though. That'd be cool. Next question is from McFinger Productions. How do you bend the kicks on a tech deck? You heat them up very carefully. Just heat them up just like that. Uh, then bend them and hold them wherever you want until they uh, cool off and they'll stay there in the position that you bend them to. But be careful and do not play with fire. Make sure you get a grown-up's uh, permission and all that old jazz. <laughs> next question is from Meganaz. 90. What trick is easier for you, a switch frontside big spin or a laser flip revert? Um, probably neither. But I can do them both at the same time. Watch this. Next question is from Relentless FB Co. Can you show us the box where you keep all your extra parts and stuff? I can show you one of those. I have it right here. I got colored wide trucks here, screws, chrome trucks, gold trucks, bushings, uh, pivot cups, non tech deck wheels, tech deck wheels, uh, standard regular trucks, tools, X games, and regular. And I have two more of these with uh, other stuff, but that's basically what they look like. Next question is from The Calculator 195. Do you prefer tech decks or X? 
games. Um, you know what? I'd probably prefer Tech Deck just because they make a lot more stuff. X Games seems like they really don't make anything. They made the picnic table and the little barrier, and it's like they stopped. Tech Deck. Next question is from Jake Rothberg. Are Black River trucks worth getting? Basically the same question I had earlier. Um, and for the cost, and I'm not saying you guys shouldn't get them. A lot of people think just because I personally don't have something or get something that I'm like telling you guys not to go get them. That's not the case at all. I'm, I would never tell you guys not to go get anything. You know, get whatever you want. Do whatever you gotta do. But for the cost of custom trucks, I probably wouldn't do it. I'd rather buy regular wides, like I said earlier, tune them out, and I'd have extra money for wheels or something, or a ramp, or anything like that. Because really, as long as your uh, trucks are tuned out, you can have the same same performance as a custom truck. So really, I, I can't justify spending the money. I'm cheap, though. <laughs> Next question is from Active Guy 881 How do you make the coping for a ramp or rail? Um, you can buy a small diameter pipe to use or a steel bar or you can use the angled steel. It comes already angled and you can put it on like the edge of a box. Next question is from XXJFBXX Have you ever fingerboarded on your girlfriend? No, but I did throw a tech deck at her once. Very funny story. It goes like this. <laughs> Next question is from Chico9003. What's your favorite fingerboard obstacle? Say it with me, everyone. The FSS spine from Affliction. <laughs> no, but the FSS spine is off the hizzle. Custom ramp. I really enjoy it. It's awesome. You can't beat it. Next question is from Finger Skating DK. How did you make the higher platform of your FSS park? It's just a box. I made a box and set it on top of the table, basically. A rectangle box. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands, but it must help you understand. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. I don't know how I made it. It's just, it's just a box. It's good to go. Next question is from FB Maniac 27 What would you do if you saw Leif Erickson fingerboarding on your V3 drinking Mountain Dew Code Red saying yo yiggity yiggity yo yay all day? I would say to him yo yiggity yo yo yiggadel yiggadinski yeezy. What the f Next question is from Finger Skaterization. Hey I was wondering if you had any tips to help us get sponsored. Really the main thing is the first thing is new footage. Um, if you're not willing to set up the camera and make new footage to try and get on the team you probably don't want to represent as hard as I am looking for. The reason for a fingerboard team is to help represent the company and get the name out there more. So um, I'm looking for people that want to make videos and represent represent FSS maybe put the words up on the screen the website or finger skate selective or whatever and people that have fun fingerboarding gotta have fun just be creative really have fun new footage it is what it is. Just show me how you would represent for the team give me an idea of what you're willing to do to represent and uh, yeah it is what it is next question is from storm and Norman 56 what was the first video you made well when I was two years old I found a 1987 JVC VHS camcorder and I managed to turn it on and uh, yeah there was a video of the carpet for about two hours because the camera fell off the couch yeah right all right, next question is from 123PS3, boy. Can you do a quick line on a tech deck, please? I'm glad you asked that, 123PS3, boy. You know why? Because I picked up a tech deck that I really wanted to show you guys. It's a Crooked Zigzagger. Comes in the normal style packaging. So if you're going to the store anytime soon, I definitely recommend you pick one of these up. It says tech deck. Everything's normal. It's got the tool, the extra wheels, the stickers. But look at the shape of the board. It's got a point on the front and the weird tail. So it's kind of like a cruiser, but the best thing look at the kicks they're higher I didn't do that I promise it came like that they're a lot higher than a normal tech deck which is very awesome I've been waiting for tech deck to make a high kick deck for years and finally they have I wouldn't call them super high but they're definitely a lot higher than normal which is very cool and even though it's got a pointy weird nose and a weird tail I threw FSS tape on there and yeah it's really cool so make sure you go get one crooked very nice I'll try and do a little uh something All right, you guys, the last question of the day is from Breadbo3. Here we go. Do all tech decks have the same pop? I believe all plastic tech decks probably have the same amount of pop because they're made all the same in a factory, molded the same. So I would imagine that gives them all the same pop, same material, yada yada. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Like I said, we're going to have an all FSS mail episode coming very, very soon. Be on the lookout for that. I really appreciate that. If you guys would like to send mail for Ask Frankie Friday and have it read in the Frankie Mail segment and get some FSS stickers, 
Send your mail to Frankie Finger Dex, P.O. Box 256, Beverly Shores, Indiana, 46301. It is what it is. Make sure you put your YouTube name and a return address and write it as good as you can. That way I don't send it to your neighbor. So, yeah, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be on the lookout for my many, many videos to come. I have a lot of stuff to get done. Sorry I've been slacking. I'm going to pick up some of the slack and get it done. So, yes, thank you for watching. Thanks for subbing. It is what it is. Holler at the FSS team. Yo, yeah, giddy. Yo, yay. Later.